um, welcome to my channel and um, today I decided to make a short video about uh, Futaba T10J uh, um, I got um, I have this radio for over two years and I'm pretty happy about having this radio so far I didn't have any problems at all um, I would say um, the only one disadvantage is um, price of the receivers um, they're pretty expensive otherwise it works very well um, I um, didn't have any um, any um, um, unpleasant um, experiences apart of one and um, that the range RC range which I found was um, very limited um, uh, I was reaching sort of uh, four or five hundred meters and um, sometimes was not enough as I'm flying most of the time racing uh, drones um, so I decided to expand the range and uh, apparently it was very easy so um, if you never did anything um, you do not know how to solder um, you do not understand electronics that's all uh, fine um, because I'm sort of beginner too um, and I did it myself so anyone who uh, has uh, Futaba radios uh, the setup should be pretty similar uh, for um, RC um, extension so this is what I did I added one little thing which is here and this is a Wi-Fi booster it is very tiny 5 volts 2.5 4 gigahertz I found it on internet um, this is a Chinese brand I believe you can find something similar on eBay Amazon uh, Banggood or any other uh, sites so this is what I got I got it from Chinese uh, Taobao um, something similar uh, to uh, Amazon or eBay um, as I'm based in China so this is what I got um, only another thing I I needed to get was a um, Ubeck here it says if you have a look here it says two to um, six um, uh, lipo uh, two to six s so um, because this Wi-Fi booster needs uh, five volts so Ubeck regulates the voltage and it drops uh, to five volts uh, so how I did it uh, I'll show you quickly um, my setup here and um, I believe um, you can repeat um, exactly um, same without any problems so firstly what you need to do is to remove the battery pack very easy and then you have one two three and four four screws and um, this is the um, a screwdriver I call it a star sc a screwdriver or some people call it Phillips but anyway you need this screwdriver and you have to unscrew four screws so let's do it and we're back here are the four screws which came out and all you need to do is now to remove the back cover um, do it in more delicate way um, but do not worry because nothing is attached to the back cover of uh, Futaba T10J so if you were to remove it this is what you're gonna see um, the wires which you see here they're not the original wires um, there shouldn't be anything attached to the back cover at all so when you um, open it up you will find that Futaba original um, uh, antennas look like this the, uh, double it has double antennas I don't know um, about the bees but they are pretty tiny and probably weak and um, you'll find that they are sort of located here 
They're gonna be located here. All you need to do is to unplug, unplug them, and these are the plugs from this two, from these two points. And after that, you need to get these two wires. Uh, this is um, extension for 2.4 antennas uh, with exactly the same pins. Pin it back, so as I did here. Now it's better as I did here. I made um, I made two holes on the back cover as here on the front co cover there is no basically there is no space so I did uh, two holes here and this is where the antenna extensions are coming and that's it and this is this is all you need to do after that you need to put everything back and put the screws back Yeah, so the screws are coming back. Just be careful here. Be sure that the nothing, nothing is catching. All wires are safe and secured, and they are inside. So let's put the screws back. back the screws are back uh, now you can attach your Wi-Fi booster and Wi-Fi boosters normally come with or comes with uh, come with these antennas this is 2.4 gigahertz antenna I think it's uh, 5 dB um, and you noted that I have another little antenna here because uh, uh, Futaba T uh, 10J has uh, double antennas and I'm using this uh, to uh, this little um, tiny antennas while I'm flying in town. I think they are one dB. The range is pretty limited, um, but um, the thing is, it's much safer uh, because uh, Wi-Fi boosters are um, easily can be easily interfered with uh, high voltage lines or um, uh, other Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi. Um, uh, let's say boosters or routers. So um, this thing is advisable to use outside the city in the rural areas. Um, I did uh, use that um, pretty often as I'm, I live in the suburbs and um, um, I did fly, uh, I did uh, reach about one and a half kilometer and was pretty fine. I didn't feel any, um, I didn't have any problems. So I think it may reach up to two and a half kilometers. So um, let's back and um, this is what you need to do. You need to, um, to um, add um, the Wi-Fi booster. And then here at the back, you see the UBEC and this is what I, what I got. This is the UBEC I'm using. Um, and after that, you need to additional a lipo battery. I'm, I'm keeping them all separate. So um, this is just a rechargeable battery for the um, radio, and I'm using 3S battery, 900 uh, milliamps. Um, um, it is very tiny and light, so for me is pretty comfortable, and um, it doesn't take lots of space. I just, just attach here, and um, it is ready to go so um if you um if you are the beginner and you never did anything uh with electronics um and uh, you're not happy about your foot radio range um 
this is how easy it can be done it's gonna take about half an hour to 40 minutes and um, you'll extend range uh, drastically so um, I do really hope my video helped for some of you guys and um, I'll see you next time